Last week, Google announced a new Nexus 7, but how does it compare to the original, one of the most popular Android tablets ever? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the old Nexus 7 versus the new Nexus 7. Last year, Google and ASUS wowed the world with a tablet that not only came with decent specifications, but also featured a nice design, fit in one hand easily, and was affordable. While most other tablets in the same category were pushing $400, the Nexus 7 was only $199, and it packed just as much of a punch, if not a larger wallop. But make no mistake, the Nexus 7 wasn't perfect. Its display left much to be desired. It originally only came in 8 or 16 GB models, and over time it suffered from an increasing amount of lag and performance issues. The second generation Nexus 7 has easily been one of the most highly anticipated tablets of the year. But how does it stack up? Is it worth the upgrade? And does it live up to the hype? That's what we're here to find out. We had very few complaints about the hardware for the original Nexus 7. ASUS generally makes high quality hardware, and the Nexus 7, despite its price tag, was no exception. Yes, it was a little heavy on the bezel, and it was a bit chunky, but when you consider the fact that Google was selling the tablet around cost, those minute details begin to slip into the background and you enjoy the tablet for what it is, a high caliber tablet that won't empty your wallet. Externally, a lot has changed, yet at the same time, none of the changes are very drastic. All of the differences between last year's Nexus 7 and this year's are fine tunings, and improvements on the few shortcomings of the original tablet's hardware. From the front, the two tablets are quite similar, but ASUS definitely paid attention to existing Nexus 7 owner's complaints. It reduced the bezel on the sides of the display by nearly 6mm total, however the top and bottom bezels are marginally thicker than before. The new Nexus 7 is also 1.8mm thinner and 50 grams lighter than the old model, both of which are quite noticeable. The newer Nexus 7 is easier to hold one-handed and actually fits in your jean pockets with a little wiggle room, whereas the old Nexus 7 didn't really fit at all. They feature the same button and port placement, with the exception of the headphone jack, which has jumped from the bottom edge to the top. The biggest difference, though, is the backside. The overall shape is the same. They have wide radius curved backs to give the illusion of being thinner, and the trim around the front is chamfered. But the material is different. The dimpled, soft-touch plastic on the original felt like a perforated leather glove. There were no real issues with the retail black model. But the Google I.O. Edition tablets, which came in a pearl white, we're subject to absorbing dye from various cases. As you can see, our model turned pink from being used in a red case for a matter of days. Without reducing the quality of the backside, ASUS moved away from the dimpled pattern. It's not a terrible move, but we certainly miss how unique the material was and the feeling it put off. No less, we're still impressed with the backside of the new model, as it doesn't seem to be a fingerprint magnet, unlike most other soft-touch plastics. You may also notice one other major difference on these tablets' backsides. The new model has a camera sensor in the upper left corner, but the old model has none. Internally, these two tablets are quite different. The old model came with only 1GB of RAM, a 1.2GHz quad-core Tegra 3 chip, 8, 16, or 32GB of fixed storage, a 4325mAh battery, and a 1.2MP front camera. The new model offers 2GB of RAM, a 1.5GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro chip, 16 or 32 gigabytes of fixed storage, a 3950 mAh battery, a 5 megapixel rear camera, and a 1.2 megapixel front camera. Both offer NFC, Wi-Fi, VGN, and cellular connectivity. Both of our units are Wi-Fi only models, but the old Nexus 7 came in an HSPA Plus and 3G model, while the new one comes in an LTE variant compatible with AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon LTE networks under a single SKU. As you can imagine, the biggest contrast between these two slabs is the displays. At 1280 by 800 pixels on an IPS LCD panel, the 216 PPI display on the original Nexus 7 left much to be desired in terms of quality and density. The new Nexus 7 offers over double the resolution on the same size LCD panel for a total density of 323 pixels per inch. The new display isn't as colorful as we were hoping, but it's definitely more vibrant than last year's model. The new panel is brighter, noticeably more crisp, offers wider viewing angles, improved contrast and black levels, and simply looks better. From top to bottom, the new Nexus 7's hardware is much better. The display was definitely the biggest disadvantage before, and we probably would have been happy if ASUS and Google only swapped out the old display and chipset with newer components, but they updated and improved the hardware all around. Where there is virtually no discrepancy between these two tablets is software. The original may have shipped with Android 4.1, but both tablets are now officially running the latest strain of Jelly Bean, version 4.3. They both feature the same hybrid home screen interface. 
It looks like the normal home screen on an Android phone in portrait, but when you rotate to landscape, the app door and shortcut dock cling to the right edge. They both have locked screen widgets, daydream mode, multi-user support with restricted profiles, Bluetooth Smart Ready, and all the other Jelly Bean improvements. The only differences between the software on these two sibling tablets are the number of wallpapers included out of the box, no big deal, and performance. And that brings us right into our test notes. Day-to-day -day performance is quite noticeably different. The new Nexus 7, although powered by Qualcomm's older Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset, is extra snappy. In everything it does, it's a split second faster than the original Nexus 7. While you may be thinking that split second difference isn't all that noticeable or important, and for what it's worth it may not be to you, the original Nexus 7 no longer feels snappy, nor does it provide smooth, polished performance. It stutters all over the place and is plagued by sudden hesitations and hiccups. The new model has yet to give us any real trouble since freezing and rebooting during the initial setup process. Even in synthetic benchmarks, the two tablets are scored appropriately. In the Intutu test, the new Nexus 7 consistently scored just shy of 20,000, while the old model struggled to surpass 12,000. It's the same story with other benchmarks and in the SunSpider JavaScript test. The original Nexus 7 didn't have a terrible speaker. In fact, at the time, meaning before the HTC One and Boom sound, it was decent. It wasn't easy to cover up and it had a little bass to it. The new Nexus 7 features dual speakers, grills on both the bottom and top. It offers very little bass, so the sound is extra tinny, but it's noticeably louder and just as difficult to completely cover up. It's quite simple to compare the cameras on these two tablets. The original doesn't have a rear camera and the new one does. That said, the new Nexus 7's camera isn't going to blow anyone away. It's a lowly 5 megapixel camera that will work well for document scanning and other odds and ends. Other than that, the images will lack proper color reproduction, contrast, and detail. On paper, the original Nexus 7 offers the larger battery, a 4325 mAh battery to the 3950 mAh battery with the new Nexus. No less, stamina seems to be comparable with what we remember from our time using the Nexus 7 extensively. The new Nexus 7 stamina, especially in standby, is impressive. At the time of this recording, our Nexus 7 has 46% battery left after 2 days and 6.5 and hours with nearly 2 hours of screen on time. That includes downloading nearly two dozen applications, emailing, watching videos, connecting and streaming through Chromecast, browsing the web, and posting to Twitter and Google+. For a more extensive look at the battery life of the new Nexus 7, keep your eyes peeled for our full review towards the end of the week. With all the upgrades Asus and Google made to this year's Nexus 7, they managed to keep the price very close to the original, only $30 more. For $199, the original Nexus 7 was a steal and for $229, the new Nexus 7 is an even better bargain. If you currently own a Nexus 7 and have no complaints, stick with it. If you're having some issues, try selling your old Nexus and upgrading. And if you're in the market for a budget tablet, the new Nexus 7 is definitely the best deal around. Even if you see remaining stock of the old models for slashed prices, we recommend shelling out the additional cash to get the latest model if possible. Both are great tablets, but plain and simple, the newer model is a better tablet in almost every way. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future, and to stay up to date on the new Nexus 7 videos that will happen over the next week. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I'll see you next time.